So today I'm going to be making oatmeal pancakes. Okay, so what you will be needing first. baking powder. You need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, so one, and then last but not least, so you want two cups of any of your plant milk. Sponsored by Psycho. Hmm? The Psycho show the. Who has Kokuma? I thought it was ranch. I like garlic sauce. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. Real light. Mm. Hi, everyone. Today's pretty much um, the last day of staying inside. Tomorrow at 12 p.m. sharp, we'll be ready to be free from quarantining. So I'm super excited to get outside into the real world. So to celebrate, I'm going to be making banana bread. And this banana bread recipe is from um, Emily Rue from Rue Pure. And I love her recipe because um, super simple and easy to make and also really delicious. So yeah, let's start baking. A cup, three quarters of almond flour, half a cup of blended oats, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one third of maple syrup, one fourth cup of coconut oil. Now you want to get your two ripe bananas and put them in here. According to Emily Rue, she said the more spottier they are, the more alkaline they have. And so you just put that in here. Break it up, break it up. I personally like to use a fork to push it all together. Okay. I'm 
then last but not least, one, two. Especially when you're making banana breads because this plastic doesn't it holds it together in shape but it also it's also really easy to take it out um, in the shapes. Let's get your extra banana that you have that you may have left over and you just wanna slice it. video um, and I'll see you guys